Hi, my name is Catherine Pinkham and I am the founder of the Insomnia Clinic. I wanted to um, create this video today to answer one of the most frequently asked questions that, that I, I get, which is how to um, deal with a racing mind at bedtime. So most people would describe that when they can't fall asleep, their mind is racing. So you're thinking about things that happened years ago, you're worrying about the future, and sometimes it's just simply running through to-do lists in your mind. Um, but it can be really, really hard to get in control of. And the longer you're awake for, the more frustrated and wound up you get and then the less likely you are to fall asleep. So there's two ways that, that we would approach, um, we would approach trying to tackle a racing mind. The first thing would be um, to actually be more proactive in dealing with those thoughts. So get into the habit of every single day, uh, writing down what it is that's on your mind. Now it doesn't matter if you know it's silly, if you know it's an irrational worry, if you know that it's the kind of thing that you're thinking about at four o'clock in the morning, then I want you to start writing it down um, and you can create sort of a 20 minute window, write everything down and when that 20 minutes is done, you close your book and you go off and you distract yourself and you do something else that you enjoy. Um, what you can start to do is use other cognitive behavioural techniques to start to tackle those worries, but the first step is actually just getting them out of your head. And it's a really therapeutic way um, of actually starting to manage worry, because in our minds we tend to feel like we have a hundred worries, but actually on paper, in black and white, we usually realise we've got the same kind of things and actually um, you know, maybe one or two of them are things that we're going to do something about, the other ones we just have to accept. So we tend to get a very different perspective if we start writing things down. The second way to tackle a racing mind in bed is to spend less time in bed. Now, one of the most common mistakes that people make when they're sleeping badly is to spend more time in bed. So they're tired, um, they're desperate to go to bed because they slept badly last night. So they get into bed early, they perhaps go through a long wind down routine, um, you know, relaxation, yoga, making sure they haven't had any blue screens. They do all of this and then they get into bed nice and early to try and get back some of those lost hours. The problem is, if your sleep drive is not high enough, and by sleep drive, this is our, our internal appetite to sleep, and that drive is built up by time out of bed. Now the problem is if you haven't spent much time out of bed and you've gone to bed early, your internal body clock won't recognise that it's bedtime. If it hasn't been dark for very long, um, if you don't normally go to bed at that time, then what will happen is you just simply don't have enough drive to sleep well. So you get into bed, you're lying there really desperately wanting to sleep because you feel like you've done everything right, you've followed sleep hygiene to the T and you really want to sleep well, um, but actually you lie there and then your mind starts racing. So for me, the racing mind is a bit of a chicken and egg situation. If your drive was higher, even if you had things on your mind, you would fall asleep because your internal drive would be there, your body would want to sleep, so you would go to sleep faster. But because we're not tired enough, when we're in bed, there's nothing to do but think. And so even if you've got nothing to worry about during the day, you can always find something to worry about at, at night time. So whether it be that you've fallen, uh, taken ages to fall asleep and, and lay, lay there in bed staring at the ceiling, or you wake up at 3 a.m. What's, what's happening is we're spending too much time in bed awake. So the easy, one of the easiest and quickest changes you can make is just to go to bed later. Make sure you're going to bed at a reasonable bedtime. You know, as adults, we shouldn't be going to bed at sort of half past nine, 10 o'clock. Sorry, that was a fly. That looked a bit weird on the video then, didn't it? Um, we should be going to bed too early. So go to bed later, go to bed when you're truly tired. And that way you are far less likely to lie in bed um, thinking because your natural urge to sleep will be much higher. Um, hopefully those, those uh, tips will, will help. You can find out a lot more in my Sleep Well, Live Better online course. The first lesson is completely free and you can learn more about actually what it is that we need to sleep well, um, how we get stuck in the cycle of poor sleep and insomnia um, and why sleep, hygiene, uh, why sleep hygiene alone isn't going to help you. So you may have found that you've tried everything, your sleep hygiene is perfect and you're still not sleeping. Um, so do visit the website, the insomniaclinic.co.uk and click on the online course. Um, or you can register for my free uh, sleep webinar and ask any questions that, that you might have and I'll get back to you with those. Thank you.